The turrets that were added in Alpha 16 are so awesome I thought they needed their own video so I wanted to show these off to you guys right here. Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel another 7 Days to Die Alpha 16 video. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about the turrets. There are two different ones that we added in Alpha 16. We have the shotgun turret and the regular auto turret here. The shotgun turret obviously uses shotgun shells and the auto turret uses 9mm ammo. Now each one of these can be set up to fire on different kinds of targets here. By default it's set on target strangers and target zombies which you can toggle just by clicking on them and it'll highlight them. So if you want to leave it by default, strangers which means people who aren't in your friends party and zombies well, who it'll target automatically. Then you can have it target allies automatically, even people on your team or target yourself. Now in order to make the turrets, they're not really that hard. They take a little bit of work to get all the stuff you need, of course, but you can make them on the workbench. You don't have to have a skill to unlock them. The auto turret and the shotgun turret, so you need a shotgun and an SMG and quite a few other things to actually make them. It takes about two minutes to craft each one of them, but you can see you need quite a few different things, electronic components, electrical parts, mechanical parts, and forged iron, just to be able to make either one of these on the workbench. And once you have the wire tool equipped, you can see when you highlight this that it takes 15 watts of power. So what I did was I just set up a single solar bank over here and I put one solar cell in it so it's giving about 19 watts of output uh, with the sun shining here it'll keep it targeting a little bit more than I actually need it to so I can add more solar arrays to this if I want to and it'll give it even more power but since 15 is all is needed I just put one bank on both sides of it here and it gives it enough power. Now when you're ready to set them up, of course, you can right click to rotate it around as much as you want to and place it however you need to. But to go into it, what you need to do then is you get the bullets that you want to put in it over here. You select which kind of targets you want to and then you got to make sure you lock ammo. If you don't have it locked, the gun will follow them, but it won't actually shoot. And then something else, you can click in this little window here and you can get a, a, a preview to see the cone the aim angle at which it can possibly shoot here so you can see it can go almost all the way down and almost all the way vertical around 360 degrees and the direction that it's pointing of course is it's going to look in that direction for any kind of movement so if you want to stop it and point it right over there you can leave it pointed that direction and it'll face off to the side so it doesn't matter which way you place it you can rotate it around however you want to with just the camera angle so leave it facing the direction you want to try and guard and just escape back out of it and now it's going to continuously face that direction and you can see the cone it looks quite a ways up and quite a ways down so you'll be able to place these up quite a bit higher than you want to i just created two blocks on the side of my porch here in order to be able to make them go works the exact same way for both turrets the only difference is which gun you're going to be using here so you can kind of have them overlap each other a little bit if you want to set them up right in front of your house you can kind of see it gives you a red dot the direction it's mostly pointing um, it'll auto focus either direction that'll fit within the cone itself but you can see exactly where it's pointing and yes you can set these to shoot at you but if you don't want to die really fast, I wouldn't recommend it. Because even with the shotgun turret here, it blasts out a lot of ammo very quickly. It's almost rapid fire for a shotgun. And with the auto turret shooting out the 9mm thing, it shoots out machine gun style. So it will unload a butt ton of ammo in a very short amount of time. So let's spawn a few zombies in here and see if we can't get some carnage going here. Just so you can guys what it looks like. I'll spawn them on that side of the road just so you can see how far it actually goes. Let's see. Spawn in some... Uh So you can see it works really really good I mean, it is very efficient I absolutely love these things I think it's going to make the hordes a whole lot more fun to deal with of course you got to have a ton of ammo and of course power supply to go with them so if you're doing some nighttime you know killing you may not want the solar banks because well there's no sunlight there's no power so a basic battery bank will do just fine for you but that's really about it. Really simple and easy and a whole lot of fun. Uh, if you have any questions, drop it in the comment section down below and I'll help you out if you have any problems with it. Um, again, this is for Alpha 16 on PC. I don't know when this is going to hit the console versions. I'm sorry. Um, if you found the video useful, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button down below the video. And don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Thank you guys for your time. You have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later.